What's going on guys, it's Suk and I am back with a brand new video on Super Duper Tech. And in today's video, I'll be unboxing the brand new Samsung Galaxy Note 8. This is a friendly reminder that if you guys are yet to subscribe, to go ahead and do so, as of course I will be uploading my full and in-depth review on the Note 8, along with some speed test comparison videos against other flagship smartphones. So without any further ado, let's hit the titles. So first up, let's get into talking about the specifications of this flagship device from Samsung. Now for those of us who pre-ordered this device, we will have received it on the 15th of September 2017. It also has a 6.3 inch infinity display, which has a resolution of 1440 by 2960, which means it has a pixel density of around 521 pixels per inch. And the model that I have comes with the Exynos 8895 octa-core processor, which has four cores clocked at 2.3 gigahertz and the other four at 1.7 gigahertz. It also comes with six gigabytes of RAM. The Note 8 also has 64 gigabytes of internal storage. By using a micro SD card, you can increase this by 256 gigabytes. And if you are here in the United Kingdom, the Note 8 will set you back around £870. But if you are based in the United States, then you are looking to pay around $930 for it unlocked. But enough of that, let's crack open the box to see what £870 gets you. In typical fashion, the smartphone itself is the first thing presented on top. But lifting the dual lens camera smartphone out of the box and placing it to a side, we do get a closer look at what other things come included with it. The first things which you will receive is your documentation and on the back of all the documentation is your nano sim and micro SD card ejection tool. And the first of this documentation is of course your quick start guide which will give you a general overview on the layout of buttons and features of the device along with what comes included with it. You then get some information on your Samsung one year warranty along with some regional lock information followed up by details on how to transfer information from your previous device. The first included accessory is the S Pen tip removal tool which will help you to remove any worn or damaged S Pen tips and of course included is some extra tips. Two of which are made out of a more rigid material whereas the other two are made out of a more rubber like flexible material so as to not damage the display. The next item included is your USB-C charge and sync data cable. Now this cable has an approximate length of around 120 centimeters. And just like we had with the Samsung Galaxy S8, we do also get the included in-ear earphones which are tuned by AKG. And with these earphones, we do get an included inline microphone. Also included are three additional pairs of ear tips to ensure that you get the best experience when listening to music with these earphones. The next item included is your adaptive fast charging USB wall plug which should be able to charge up the Note 8 in under one and a half hours. If you guys do want to see the time taken to charge up the Note 8 from 0 to 100% then of course hit that subscribe button to be notified when I upload my review. And the last two items included with the Note 8 are a pair of USB-C adapters. The first of these is a micro USB to USB-C along with a normal USB type A to USB-C. I do like the fact that Samsung are still including these USB-C adapters because whether or not you have made the switch over to USB-C, you've got the option. So along with the beautiful design and the incredibly crisp display, not to mention the power and performance that the Exynos 8895 octa-core processor packs, there are a number of different features that I do want to just quickly talk about. For example, that it does have Bluetooth 5.0, which essentially means that you can pair this device up to two Bluetooth devices simultaneously. Not to mention that if you are connected to any Bluetooth 5.0 enabled device, that you will get the increased range and throughput. And if we take a closer look at the rear of the device, we will notice that there are now two cameras, where one of these cameras are there to provide two times optical zoom, and the other is your standard wide angle camera. This will of course improve the zoom functionalities of the Note 8 along with bringing other features such as live focus. 
Also, as this is a Samsung Note smartphone, you will get the improved S Pen stylus, which does of course bring a number of different features and functionalities to the device. Now, if you guys haven't done so already, then do please hit that subscribe button, as I will of course be going through all of the features and functionalities of the Note 8, along with comparison videos between other flagship devices. And if you did enjoy the video, then be sure to hit that like button. If you have got any questions or queries, then go ahead and leave them down below in the comment section, or alternatively, you can hit me up on my social media. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.